What should you never do in the United States? Don't ever get a payday loan. Are these still legal in the States? I got stuck in the loop for nearly two years in my early 20s and the only thing that saved my A was that the laws on payday loans changed in Canada. Never leave your sleeping infant, child in a vehicle. This is fairly common in some places across the pond, but it is definitely not legal in the US. Go to Times Square on New Year's. The experience is so not worth it. It's romanticized for some reason. Get out of the vehicle during a traffic stop. I did not know this, here in Australia we are perfectly okay to get out of the vehicle unless the cop says otherwise. Once I rolled through a stop sign in front of my college dorm and had parked and was out of my car before the cop pulled up behind me and screamed for me to get back in the car. I hadn't seen him at all and the lights weren't on until I was already out of my car. He was so angry and was asking why I got out of my car. Don't get out of the car after police asks you to stop. My old chemistry professor made that mistake on holiday, they pulled a gun on him. Walk onto someone's property without permission, or knowing the owner. It's cool in many places around the world to be able to go wandering through the countryside. It is not cool in the U.S. You might end up getting arrested, held at gunpoint, or shot at if you're really unlucky. Call a mixed person colored. It doesn't mean the same thing as it does in South slash East Africa. Don't take pictures or record videos of strangers' children. I've had to warn many people coming over from Asia about this. Some have ignored me and it has led to screaming and threats. If a cop pulls you over don't get out of the car, place your hands on the wheel and wait they will come to you. Also, turn the vehicle's ignition off. Remove your sunglasses. Turn off the radio. Roll down your windows, particularly if they are tinted. Turn on the interior lights at night. And don't reach for anything in the vehicle without being asked to do so and even then announcing your intentions. My rental paperwork? Yes, it's in the center console. Don't underestimate the size of the US. Apparently some people think it can take only a couple hours to go to location states away. Think that you can pee in an empty alley on your way home from the bars. A surprisingly large percentage of my European acquaintances have had a great experience of spending a few hours early morning hours in the drunk tank in various American cities, because it's really not that big of deal in most of Europe. I'd add that it's illegal to consume alcohol in most public spaces, sidewalks slash parks, in much of the US. Exceptions, New Orleans, beer slash wine and Denver parks. Try and bribe a police officer. Not just bribery. Apparently in some countries, if you get a ticket for something you can actually pay the fine to the police officer on the spot. NFL kicker and Raiders legend Sebastian Yanikowski was arrested and almost deported back to Poland for trying to bribe a police officer, until he convinced the court that he just thought that's how it legitimately works. Do not run or move fast and unpredictably when stopped by cops. Sorry, reading this as a non-American is so weird, it's like you're talking about what to do if you come across a bear. Don't try to cheat the IRS. They will left your life into oblivion. There are three things all wise men fear, the sea in a storm, a night with no moon, and a jilted IRS. Engage with someone acting like a crazy person on the road. They might shoot you. This is not exaggerated. I live in a really safe area and we have had a few horrible road rage shooting cases over the past few years. Don't illegally use a disabled person parking spot or pass a school bus with its stop sign out. Go to Florida for the beaches and forget about the wildlife. Black bears, gators, panthers, hogs, etc. You can just ask any random Florida man to see his pet alligator, we typically keep them handy for such an occasion. At least in Tennessee you should never say anything unkind about Dolly Parton. Be a king and use the Tea Act of 1773 to give special consideration to the British East India Company and the colonies. Cut in line. I've been in countries, example, Spain, where lines slash queues are more of a vague suggestion of who goes first, this is not true if you cut in line in the US. Cutting in line in the US can literally lead to violence. Skip a chance to have some good and tasty smoked barbecue. Boom. 100% is considered a very vulgar word here that would be highly inappropriate to say casually. Say the N-word. I was overseas and a guy in a bar asked if people in the US disliked black people. But he did not say black people, I suggested that he not say that word in the future. I knew this guy who had come from Poland a few months prior, and kept saying it casually. I delicately brought it up. Turns out his English teacher in Poland taught him that was the regular word for black people. Don't assume because you visited NYC that defines the rest of the U. S. Don't talk to your wife about trying New York pizza in Arabic on a plane to New York. Do not trespass onto other people's land and don't engage in road rage. Both are higher stakes than you probably think. 
apparently getting out of your car during a traffic stop. Never F with Florida man. He will beat you with experience every time. Don't get out of your car unless asked when stopped by the police. My Balkan friends all just hop out to talk to the cops when pulled over in that part of the world, if you did that in the U.S., you'd probably get shot. Don't base your entire opinion and generalization of the country just from one part or particular region. Cultures, values, and people are so different all over the US. Yeah, LA is just a wee bit different than Alabama. Assume everyone has a gun. Not assume that everyone has a gun. Blackface. I know this seems obvious, but it's often much less offensive in a lot of other countries, but absolutely do not do it here. You can look up the history of slavery, minstrel shows and the banjo if you are wondering why. When a policeman asks you for your documents, flirt with him and tell him, try to take it away. I tried it, then I lay in handcuffs and without documents. Never move fast or fail to comply with cops. They will shoot you. Public spitting isn't usually well received. The average American does not usually enjoy talking politics, in their frequented public spaces. Assume public transport is timely. Light up a cigarette without knowing local laws, to the space. Hey, thanks for subscribing and liking. It really means a lot to me. While you are here, feel free to hop on over to the last video. See you there. Ronnie.